goes in there. Those ones are a little tricky. They're on a hook up here. Here, we pull up and then pull down. There's some right there. Uh, Genevieve, who's two now, um, she, so she's just a little over 18 months, a little under 36, but she, um, Everything she does, she like ex like will ask questions about it. Like so, if she's trying to like you know get the necklace off the hook, she'll go, "How do you get the necklace off the hook? Lift it up, <laughs> you know, and sort of like uh, ask and then answer what what she's doing at the same time." And she um, she'll like look for things now to figure out. Like she likes puzzles and and um, different things that she can try to you know, figure out, I guess, maybe it's for me teasing her all the time and hiding things from her, but now she sort of seeks that sort of entertainment. So she likes, uh, really enjoys doing the different problem solving things. So, I, I, you know, I, I know with my kid, problem solving has really been something that he likes to internalize and he doesn't want help with. He wants to sit there and have the time to figure it out himself. Mm -hmm. So that's where I messed up. Uh, it's like when we had Zeke, you know, I was working a lot, like 16, 20 hour days with my commute and everything. And I'd get home sometimes and I'd be so tired as like, you know, oh, he's trying to do this and instead of trying to work through it with him. I'd just be like, all right, here, you know, like do it for you so I can like, I can go take care of things. And, and then uh, being in the program, like I really learned to sit down and talk him through problems versus just doing it for him because it was not beneficial. And now it frustrates me because he's like, I can't do it. I'm like, as you're telling me you can't do it, you are doing it. So stop <laughs> telling me you can't do it. Right. But uh, yeah, I think like that was really important. The lesson I learned here was uh, not doing it for them because they can figure it out if you give them the time. You just got to teach them to problem solve. They always say like if a kid's having a problem and they're getting frustrated or something, like the teacher will go up to them and go, you know, how can I help you with that? And then the kid will the kid will have to stop and they'll have to think about it. How can you help me with this? <laughs> this is how you can help me with this. And so even that just little question and, and how the child has to really figure it out. And then they learn to rely on the adults that they trust in their life, which is good. But they also learn how to um, sort of take that first step on their own.